This is uh, 15 November, November 15, 2023. And uh, I live in Sweden and my name is Anna Virginius. And um, at uh, uh, about uh, five o'clock in the morning, I've I wake up and uh, I have a, a shivering, a shivering uh, in my body, like uh, was frozen, and uh, went up and uh, it was uh, it was warm in my home. But I, I was frozen, and uh, I felt me uh, that I wanted to puke, and um, so I, uh, so I knew what was going on because I have this, uh, uh, these uh, um, scars on my left. Uh, leg and um, that uh, I I got in Africa when I was in Kenya for ten years ago, so I'm used with it. So it doesn't scare me when I see it. It's be like uh, bubbling bubbles on my skin and and then it's uh, open up and it's uh, flowing like water out from those uh, bubbles that is in the skin and it's up to my knee and I uh, I felt me have pain in my knee also so it was full of this infection in my leg and it had been that for f about five days and I was hoping it should go back and be healed, the leg, so heal it could be. Uh, and I wash it with, uh, with the strongs uh, to kill the bacteria. But it didn't work. Uh, so I... Uh, I knew what it was. It was this uh, blood, uh, blood poisoning, and um, so I called the ambulance at five in the morning, and uh, then uh, they come and uh, it's an ambulance that is like they travel to many people and. It's not always they bring bring a person to the hospital. They check out how 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 I am uh, in my body, and uh, and they say uh, we should take the fever and and I say I will. I am I had never have fever even if I feel like I have fever. In my body, and uh, I have uh, have read about it now that they need to change that way how to the measure fever in the body because that was a long time ago where they decided that we uh, what temperature we should have in a normal body. And uh, I have had hard with this because I have always been cold in my blood, I, uh, in my body. So I, I was always, when I lay in the hospital to get my children, I always have the lowest temperature of all, all the women that was laying in the hospital. Uh, so I, I have told the doctor, but they have not believed me, and uh, 
they have not listened. I see that they don't listen. And uh, then I then I know I saw that the new research about the body that it doesn't was not that way they have always measured the body's temperature to people because we are different it's not that only everyone should have the same temperature in the body so i say to them that uh, that uh, this is is celsius 37 is the normal what they had with, uh, in the past and uh, and i uh, normally have 36 and uh, when they measure it i was close to 39 so i had much fever in my body and uh, so they took me in the ambulance and uh, I, and and when I come to the hospital, uh, they uh, check out my blood status, and uh, they say that I I had an infection in my body. So uh, the good thing was that they let me have antibiotic uh, in inside directly into the the blood. And then I, I went home with the medicine, but uh, they don't understand that I don't have anyone that can go and get me my medicine, and I live too far from from the pharmacy to could go there and get my medicine, and. Uh, I say that I ask for help in the hospital, but they they say w- they were too busy for to help me to get my medicine for, because there is a pharmacy inside the hospital. But as I have uh, the taxi that is coming and get me, I couldn't uh, go down there. To the pharmacy as I can't walk so far away and uh, especially when I was sick and um, and the taxi driver doesn't take take me to the pharmacy and wait for me to get my medicine so I have to go home when they didn't could help me and now I sit and wait for the medicine and uh, I think I, I, it was not this morning, it was the morning before uh, I was in the hospital. And uh, because I, as soon as I come home, I order the medicine uh, on the internet. And now I'm waiting for the deliverance of of the medicine and um, but uh, I know it can be late so I don't get that medicine just uh, when I need it I am thankful if I can get it tomorrow evening so I have to to wait for the medicine and uh, but I got medicine from the doctor when I left the hospital so it was for one day medicine but I needed for three days uh, to to not stop to take the medicine but uh, it had to go good for me I take the last uh, medicine now, tonight, and then I need to wait for the medicine. If I'm lucky, it should be tomorrow evening, um, a late evening, 
around 10 o'clock in the evening. So I have to stay uh, and uh, stay uh, focused to hold me as healthy as I can. And um, I have only... It was good that I uh, I boiled some fish for me when I, before I had uh, this uh, illness. And then uh, the, the water, the boil, boiling water, I had uh, many veggies in the, in the in the the pot where I boiled the fish, so it was good. Uh, the bouillon, bouillon, the the fish water, so I kept it, and uh, that was good that I did because I have drinking that today. So my body doesn't need to work with food when it's sick. And so I do tomorrow also to eat very light food. So the the body can only concentrate, focus on uh, on uh, to heal my body. And not uh, to digest heavy food. And um, so uh, now it's the agenda it is to be by myself. To not have any help at all. Uh, and I think it's the fourth time this year I have uh, been in ambulance to the hospital. And... And you know, I I was laying in the hospital in in the summer, the only only week we have summer here. Then I was in the hospital, so I was not out in the sunshine. And uh, and then uh, I go home, and then I be sick again, and I have to go back and lay one week more, and. Uh, so it's, I think it's four times I have been with the same illness, this poison of the blood. And uh, it's be from the leg. And uh, even if I clean it up, it's, it was much bacteria in, in the blood. So it's... Uh, it maybe have coming from my teeth also, so it maybe was from two, two places, because I had very much bleeding in my teeth. Uh, just maybe two days ago. And um, but now I I'm okay in my teeth, but it's because maybe it's because I I don't eat heavy things and um, so the ambulance people they say oh we recognized you we have met before they say to me and uh, and then uh, they I don't I don't remember as I have been sick as and the last time, not this time, but last time, I puked the whole ambulance. Inside the ambulance, I puke, puke, puke. But the, this time, I felt like I wanted to puke, but I couldn't get up anything because I have not eaten. I was not hungry in the evening, so I didn't eat anything in the evening. And this was five o'clock in the morning, so everything had going down in my body. Uh, but I tried to puke many times in the ambulance. And then uh, well, come, I come to a emergency room. I are. 
room. And uh, the nurses say, oh, I uh, recognize you from somewhere. They say the all the nurses. Oh, uh, so I knew I am one of the, those people that is often to to the hospital, and it's have going worse and worse. And I'm wondering how long will this body could work in 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 the way it is, but. Uh, as I have told you, that is um, about when I be called home. But I don't want to lay in the hospital for a long time and be because be sick because they are not nice at the hospital. Some people there. Um, and there is some people that enjoy it to have weak people. And then when they see that I don't have anyone that come and talk to me, I don't have any family, and uh, then they be more evil because I can't tell anyone. And uh, and to this time was it also that uh, they ask me uh, if they. Uh, could uh, tell people if they call uh, that tell that I I was laying in a hospital if they could give them the report the the notice that I was in a hospital so they could call me and uh, it's every time is it oh do I need to answer this because I don't have anyone that could call me in the hospital and look for me. No one are looking after me. And it have been, uh, now it have been scaring in that way. When I realized that I have been in many parts of, of the world, in many countries and no one knows that I am there where I am and I only disappear if if something happened to me but I am not thinking like that because I have obeyed God and I have done what he wants me to do and not thinking about myself at all uh, it, it was uh, when I was in three and a half years in United States and was homeless and had no money at all. I have not that thinking about myself. Of course, it was not 100%. It happened that I could cry and, and ask God, what am I doing here? Why am I here? Uh, very fragile. Could be killed any, any time. Be with the crazy people in those uh, shelter I was laying in. And uh, they stole things and they, uh, they tried to steal things because most I don't have anything. I lay lay with uh, I have gold with me jewelers in in case I must use them to get money and uh, I have my wallet with everything about me and I, I had it under me when I was sleeping and uh, I say to myself before I fall to sleep that don't turn around and open up what you have under you. You uh, lay sleep still so they don't can take it. So I was laying that like that and I heard sometimes 
in the night how they some people was going up and uh, look in uh, those bags that we have in the room um as most we were we were 12 people in the same room so it was much walking around and check out the bags of, of people and some shelter was it total crazy women that was there that should not be in the shelter uh, they they should be somewhere else where it should close close behind them and uh, but uh, and I uh, wondering why am I here but uh, I have got the answer and the answer will be it's going more and more clear for me uh, the answer why am I here and that question is about why am I here on on this planet because I was in heaven and I knew that now that I was once in heaven and I was in the throne room with God and I as I, it was in the hypnosis that I talk about Hypnosis 2018, that I, I was in the throne room with God, and I, I come to know what had going on there in the throne room, and then, so I know I have been there, before, and then, uh, I told God that I wanted to go down, one more life. Because I I love God so much, I I wanted to do a, a better job than what I have done those six other times I have been on Earth. So I come to be born back here on this planet, and uh, I. Uh, I come to a family that really, really press me down, and uh, but in the so, same time I come to learn about evil spirits, and and God uh, sent me to the worst family uh, that I could have without be killed of them, and. Um, and I, uh, and in that way, I I come down. This is I uh, had come to know. Uh, in this time, I have done the recording of my podcast. I come to know that I have this higher priest from heaven with me down to earth, and I have had that. For six time, and now the seventh time I had a higher priest with me, but the 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 change was that I was born as a woman, and before six times before I was a man, and uh, it as I have experienced it. It is almost impossible for me to talk to the world. To could be like like ad, those other that have been before that have could uh, make a, um, I have to find it in English, like fingerprint uh, of the, uh, in this world that people in many generations is going to remember them and what they have say, And that have only been men. So as a woman is almost impossible. 
I say almost impossible because it have happened many things that I have not thought it should happen. Like this with Jerusalem that I talk about very much. I have no clue how to make the money to come to Jerusalem. Yeah, I don't have any money. I'm a poor woman. <clears throat> I am the most poor woman that live here in Sweden. I have no money at all. We have this, uh, this in the law that we, we have the money to could live in a, in an, uh, our own apartment and have food to eat the whole month until next time we get retirement money. But we don't have extra money. We we are guaranteed to have our own home and uh, money to could eat and money to buy clothes like that. But no extra money. There is no extra money. So that I couldn't believe that I can't do that God, but I heard from heaven that I should go to Jerusalem. So I have to believe because it have happened before when I, I, I have traveled to Jerusalem, to Israel, that I have got money from heaven. So I had to believe, but me as a person, I couldn't believe that. It could happen. And uh, the same thing that it seems so very far off to could make an, now I know, impact to the world and make people follow me. I know I have followers uh, in this podcast but I don't have any followers in real life so it seems impossible I don't have one person that follow me in real it's only a murderer in real I have and so I know I am uh, the opposite of protected the the killer want to kill and uh, it's going tighter and tighter now when uh, it's about uh, Gaza Israel the the war that is going on and uh, people hate people hate and that is in this last last days we are in in the last days I, it seems like a spirit come and touch me I, without that I have asked for it and uh, if it, it sounds in my body no it's because I, I'm sick so the, the, the body is screaming of, uh, that it doesn't uh, have a normal life who <laughs> couldn't eat like it like to eat and uh, uh, so I, uh, it was uh, about this that I, I become sick and uh, I should I take. I don't take anything for granted. That uh, I should recovering, but I don't know. And uh, so I, I d- didn't do it. But I, I got a call from my daughter, and she sit far, far, far away from me, and she don't have a car. 
and she don't have anyone that want to to drive her to to my place she is uh, in the church but she's she don't get any help for because they don't want her to to meet me and uh, her brother have a car but he tried to hide for me with his my grandkids or with him and uh, I don't uh, am allowed to meet my grandkids because my my son uh, doesn't want to meet me and uh, he is um, I, he got the energy from the grandkids mother uh, she hate me without knowing me she hate me without any thing to hate she only hate me and uh, so she is from the devil that sh- should take away my son and take away my grandkids she is all oh, her uh, her task uh, her work here on earth is to to take away everything she can from me and uh, and she tried on my daughter but it's not 100% as my daughter called me up sometimes and uh, now she my daughter told me that she had been uh, sick for 10 days and in her throat and coughing very much so i asked her if it's covid she have got but she don't know she have not taken any test she only she says she working uh, these 10 days she was sick she have still working in the kitchen and uh, so I suppose that many of those people that eat the food and am close to the kitchen where she work are sick now the same as her and uh, so um it is this about I have told you that she is very very slim and I know I was talking to her because it can happen that uh, tomorrow I'm dead because of my uh, this illness I have got this blood poisoning uh, and I told her I suddenly is away and I can't talk to you anymore. So I want to talk to you. Not this light talking. A real talking. And I say I can't talk to you. Because she always do this. And she was today. Was it the same that she. She was. Uh, she was moving around in her room. She have a room in in the in the church that she pay for, and uh, she. Uh, it's not only that she work for the church; she pay for it also, pay for to work for the church, and um, and she moving around, moving around, and first it was she did food for herself. And, and then uh, uh, this red beets soup. And then uh, she moving around and took her clothes and hang it in and, and fold it and these things. And I say to her, can't you sit down to, uh, to talk to me? Normal people are sitting down and and focus on that person that they talk to but you I don't get any eyes contact with you at all 
and it's very hard for the camera and the computer to to go with you because you have a te- uh, 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 a telephone that you have in the pocket and she place it somewhere where it can be still but she's moving around so it's hard for the camera to to focus on her so I say that can't you sit down you, you move around from the first minute you you wake up and, and then the whole time I say I, I have seen you the whole time when I talk to you that uh, first times when she was was uh, chat with me she was jumping on this like mattress to jump on she jumped on and talked to me in the telephone and uh, and uh, every time she call she call, she do food and i know she do the food for me to see that she eat food they they are so much liars these people that that uh, uh, is anorexia or uh, bulimia or those things and uh, she say it by herself later on that it's l- like uh, hurt yourself it's to, like cut yourself with a knife she said to me and uh, and uh, if I remember it, I, I should look at her arms and see if she cut herself. And uh, but she she hide that she don't eat, and she is so extremely slim now. And um, and I maybe not return on uh, her to eat normally. And. Uh, so uh, I say to her that is like a maniac. It is crazy what you are doing. She, I told her that you can't sit down and talk to me uh, face to face. And then you need to move around the whole time when I, I should talk to you. And then after a while, was it like she decided who who is it that do something with her? But it was like she had to talk to someone in her brain and she, she sit down. And then the surprising was that she cut off. She didn't talk anymore. She was talking when she moving around, but when she sit down, it was for her to, uh, if she should sit down and talk to me, she had to cut off everything in her body. And she, don't, uh, she didn't talk. And I said to her, the communication between between two people should be uh, both are talking to each other uh, and she said I don't know what to say I have nothing to say she said that because she she had frozen frozen it was her energy that when she jump around and run around and doing food and fold the clothes it was the energy that she got to talk to me but in the same way she she don't look at me and uh, in that way also she didn't really talk any any special like adult people she is adult uh, but she was talking 
nothing. I I don't remember what she was talking about when she was running around. And uh, I told her that we uh, it may be is our last time we talk to each other. And I want to talk to you serious. And I told her uh, where she could find uh, those things that I want to left behind me to her. And I told her that don't let your brother take those things. He will go for it because he don't want, he heard it, he hear it from the devil that he he should not let you get those things. It's not a, a value in money, but it's information for you about my life and those that that have been before you, that have created it, it have been you in that way that you have got from my mother and from your father's mother and those behind you and oh it's not important she say but I say it's very important to know where you're coming from that's what why they were telling me 2016 in Jerusalem that I should do my DNA and uh, I didn't know what I know today I didn't knew it. I'd be shocked when I heard that I was Jewish. And uh, and then uh, later on now it's coming that it's very bad to be Jewish in this time with Gaza. And uh, it, uh, here in Sweden and I think in, in many other countries that the Jewish have started to be uh, hunted be hunted of, of people that hate Jewish people and so it's not good so I'm thinking that I should close my my DNA my uh, my family tree to not be seen like that but uh, I need to to come. Uh, he's saying now, you know, I say that it was a spirit touching me. And uh, he's here for uh, to tell me about this. I don't remember what I say because uh, he have taken over me, the spirit. So I don't remember what I ended to. But it was about my DNA. Uh, and uh, I was on my way, I think, yeah, to tell you that I want to know from from heaven if it's okay to have my family tree visible or is it not. And... Uh, that's why he touched me but but I didn't know that I should say this but the, the spirit know it's timeless so he knew it already before I started to, to talk about this so uh, he say these things I started with this that he say I am here to do it I'm here to say it about this with uh, if you have if you know that you have um, an sister and relatives that is not okay for this world then you should listen at this spirit that is here and to- should talking and I have to wait for him to talk. He feels so. He feels so sad. It's a sad thing. It's a sad thing he is going to tell. 
but maybe is it those that have been killed because they were Jewish and uh, is wrong going on now when this in Israel when they are going into the hospital just now and uh, I have told you already that those children that was premature they are they are, are dead now they say uh, the Israel army they say that they have moved the kids and uh, the spirit is telling us that it's a lie they are killed they are and many are killed of this war going on and uh, and uh, especially with this uh, settlement uh, you wish that running around in the olives uh, tree gardens and they do much bad things to the people that only try to find a way to get food on their table and they are very bad and they get the energy from what's going on in Israel they should not uh, they have done that sometimes but they should not do it if it wasn't that they got the energy of this war going on the Israel is saying it's conflict, but it's a war. And um, he's, uh, he's um, showing me a, a sand hill, a mountain made of most sand. And... Um, He's showing me that it's like rocks falling down from from the hill. This it have no no vegetables. It's no green. It's only most of it is sand. It's um, it's very nice up in the top of the hill. It there is a, a city and. A, it's green grass, but the hill is on its way to go away. And everything that is in the top of the hill, it's be destroyed and falling down in this hill of, of pebbles, stone rocks that going down. There is no living in that hill. And what's under the hill also. It, it is it's a it's its symbolic way to to understand this when he's talking to you and he's talking to me and I understand that words have been built up that was very nice once it's on its way to dis be destroyed and he's talking about uh, the the taxi driver that I uh, went with he was uh, talking he's talking about that he was not Arabic he was from Asian I know when he say, I am not Arabic, he say to me. No, I say that uh, you are Asian. Because that uh, what uh, Israel is also Asian. And, um, and it's the first time they have, uh, someone have told me that they don't want to be Arabic. He say he was born in Sweden, but he... 
his parents come from Asia, but he looked like Arabic for me. So we talk about that a little. And um, and it's going to be this conflict that's going on. It's not only in Israel, it's in those countries that have been friends from Arabic areas and this Asia area is going to be a conflict. It's going to crash. It's going to crash much like just now is it Iceland that they have equipment, equipment, a quake, a quake going on. It's volcano outbreak and uh, they have started to move everyone that is in that area because they don't and they don't really know just know where it's going and it, it when I heard it and saw picture from Iceland I was thinking that's a sign of what's going on today that uh, they know it's going to be an outbreak of lava and uh, things that going to destroy maybe a big city and if it's not going to destroy a city it's going out in the water and uh, from the water is going to be like gas. It's going to be poison uh, air over Iceland. And last time it was, uh, it was like the flight couldn't lift up. They couldn't fly because it, they couldn't see uh, clearly. And it seemed... Seems for me uh, it come in this time of war in Israel and showing what will happen. And uh, no one know where it's going to open up and put out uh, lava streaming. And um, so... He's talking now that that's how you can see it. That is one of the signs because they don't know where it's coming from. And it is uh, it's important if you want to know where, where it's going, this war and conflicts there is. And by how how it will be on Iceland with this volcano thing, because it seems like it's gonna be a big volcano, and who knows? Because it can break up the whole Iceland, and they need to make decision. If it's time to to move away from from the Iceland and go to another place, or stay there and don't know what will happen, and be unsure and and you know that um, <coughs> uh, I'm sorry for that. But uh, and you know that um, they are thinking like money thinking. So many that is money lovers, they are going to stay, no matter how it will be. They going gonna go down with it, and. Uh, I talked to my daughter also about it and she didn't want to talk 
to me about it, but she is a Jesus lover and she talk about Jesus to me and what's talking of John the Baptist and um, and I say uh, and she say that he was coming as God on earth here, Jesus. And I told her that it's uh, not uh, earthly bounded. God is not the earthly gun bounded. He is not a person. He is a spirit. But she uh, believed that Jesus was walking here. And she gonna die in this thinking and belief. And uh, who knows uh, what will happen in the future. I am very bad in, in my body. But I was thinking today that I may be, be uh, uh, staying here and my, my kids are going away because... She is very sick in this. She has taken all the vaccine for COVID. I have not taken one vaccine for the COVID. And she is very sick uh, in her lungs, coughing very much and being sick very much in this. Uh, what I think is COVID, uh, something that have with her vaccine to do. And uh, my son, uh, my daughter is telling me that my son have diabetes, but he don't care about his diabetes, so he don't take any medicine against diabetes, and he don't stop eating. He eat very much. He's very big in his body. He's a real fat man, and. Uh, so it can happen that they go before me. It's not uh, right, but what can I tell if they are doing their life in the wrong way? I am their mother, but I have taught them until they left me as mother. And it's up to them as an adult person to make the decision how to live their life. And if they are leaving before me, they, they have made their decision. And my son is not believing in any God, he say. But he, uh, it seems like he believes in the devil. And my daughter, she, she believe in Jesus as God. And I don't know what will happen. And I don't know how, how much she is protected in that way that she is Jesus lover. And not God lover, Jesus lover. And I don't know how long she will go in that and uh, uh, for me it's uh, not sad about my children because my son I don't know on, in him but my daughter she will get the place in heaven because she she is my child and uh, my son maybe can't uh, go into heaven and uh, I mean that everyone is going to heaven but to stay there he maybe stay in the meadow so he don't remember anything what have happened here on earth he maybe do it, make it and uh, it, it is each of us we have to make the decision. We can't let other make the decision for us. That don't think like many people do. That others should make it for you. 
this is only you and you alone that can make the decision if you want to live in heaven in the sit inside the city or if you want to be in the meadow or if you will be sweeped out from everything that is I I have to ask the spirit something. And it, um, it's a message for you, you that listen. He want to say something, and he show me this, like a force, like an airplane. And the a hand that stop the airplane, and I understand what he's he's talking about, that you're running too fast. You you that listen and maybe a follower of me, he tell you that you you have to teach yourself to not to run for what other people want you to run for. You, you have your own life. You can't do what everyone wants you to do because many of them want you to run into the ditch, into hell. They want you to be killed. And you need to stop. And thinking about uh, what what uh, is it? What do they tell me? What is it they want me to go? You need to stop there before you do anything. Because the devil is the one that go very fast, he running, he running, he running. But the, those vi- wise people, those that stop for a while, in not uh, very, very slow, but those that tell that person that you, I can't make the decision just now, you have to let me think about it and I can answer you tomorrow. That's you need to tell them. You can't run together with them because you run into hell with them. And you know, need to know who is your real friends and those enemies you have. Let them come in into your life and decide what you should think and do. And you need to set, make sure that you stop and uh, thinking over what you have in your life around you and what it have caused. It's always good to write it down on a note, the person's name, and then you you write down what good have this person done for me, that that plus sign you do, and the minus sign is what what do, do they want from me? What do they want from me? You have to ask yourself. What, what is it that they, they want me to do in life? You will see that it's very good to write it down, those names, and see with the plus side what 
they bring to you, uh, if they help you, have they helped you uh, without to thinking of themselves to get something in return? Have they really clean helped you and not only thinking that they should get something from you in the same way? A real friend should do something for you clean without thinking that I get something in return. Hmm. A pen and, and a paper and write this down to about your friends, if they are real friends or not. There is parasite, those that only want things from you and never could do anything for you. They can do things for you if they get something in return. And that is not a friend. A friend can give everything for you. Uh, of course not uh, to be killed. It's depend. Uh, it can be an accident that they be killed. But they should be wise enough to know where the limit are, where, how long the, they can go for to save you. Uh, so that was what he wanted to say. So uh, is it okay? <coughs> now it's going out. Uh, so I, I thank you for listening and uh, and God bless you and I ho hope I can help you with what I am telling you God bless you I love you